Hello everyone and welcome to episode 72 of Cooking with Love. But before we go any further, gotta ask somebody a question. Siri, what's my name? Really? Typical. You're Frankie, but you asked me to call you Frankie Motherfucking Love. That's right. See, she knows who the fuck I am. Just like you should know who the fuck this next video was about and dedicated to. That's why you should remember the name, Chris Banks. That's right, Mr. No Limits himself, Chris Banks. Chris is a cool dude, but he's also a strange dude because he's a Puerto Rican Canadian. Who on the weekends like to, likes to have four ways with other guys. Like, this past weekend, he had a four way with three other guys. Tomorrow night at Fun Station, USA, 3555 Victory Boulevard in Staten Island, New York. Actually, it's tonight. Because I'm filming this on a Friday, but tomorrow's Saturday, and that's when it's being uploaded. So tonight, Saturday night, se no, it's not even September, it's April. It's April 12th tonight, when you watch this. If you're watching it today, as I uploaded it today, April 12th, you can go to Fun Station USA and watch Chris Banks have a four-way with three other men. Now look, I, you know... Chris's preferences, I got nothing against him. He's a great guy. If he wants to have a four-way with three other guys, fine by me. Because I'll tell you what, Chris is good at four-ways. He can overcome the odds and come out on top, if you know what I mean. Now, try to think about what to make. And you got to think about it. It's dedicated to Chris Banks, who's Puerto Rican, Canadian. Puerto Ricans are a little spicy, if you will. Canadians, are, on the other hand, they're a little... I don't know, I guess you can say in comic book terms, they're kind of like from fucking Bizarro Land. Fucking weird people sometimes, I tell you, but that's besides the point. So with that, I decided to make something that's spicy. But it's a little strange, so to speak, for it being spicy. So I decided to make a buffalo chicken... And bacon loaf. Now, how do you make one of those, you ask? It's very simple. You go out and you get some uh, Pillsbury, Pillsbury pizza bread, right? You get some chicken, get some buffalo sauce, and of course, you get some bacon. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut up the chicken, and you're going to cook the bacon. And then mix it all together. You're going to take the Pillsbury pizza bread, and you're going to stuff it into like a calzone style half circle, if you will, okay? And you're going to, like I said, stuff all that chicken and bacon inside there. Fold it up real nice. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're going to take some bacon, bacon and you're going to sprinkle it on top. And I'm going to say you're going to cook that bad boy, oh, uh, maybe a half hour. And when you do... It should, if you do it right, come out looking something like this. See? Semicircle, bacon, and bread. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this bad boy open, hopefully. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot, you got to put some cheese in there too. Because what else is buffalo chicken without some cheddar cheese? So, you open it up, and the insides look like that. Buffalo chicken, cheddar cheese. I mean, you can put whatever kind of cheese you want in on it, but it doesn't matter. It's cheese and bacon. God, this looks good. If you want to eat some good shit, I mean, it may not be healthy for you like the old videos I used to make, but this right here, it's a fucking bomb. Definitely use cheddar cheese like I did. 
comes out so much better. And don't forget, you make this, you don't you don't want to make this taste because you got too many important things to do. The most important thing you got to do tonight, Saturday, April twelfth. Let's go to 3555 Victory Boulevard in Staten Island, New York, Front Station, USA. And see the Warriors of Wrestling. Watch the world, the Warriors of Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Jack Gallows and Jason Cross, defend their titles against former WWE superstars, the Spirit Squad. Yep, those fucking male cheerleaders. Don't get me wrong, they're not the bad guys and they were great when they were in WWE. Hell, they were tag team champions. Like I said, you're also going to come and you're going to see Chris Banks in a four-way match with three other dudes. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, his Nolan is hot, will be on the line. Remember the name Chris Banks. Also, WOW heavyweight champion Chris Steeler will defend his heavyweight championship against Abdul Nasir of the Syndicate with a special guest referee. Gee, I wonder who that could be. No, just get that right out of your thought head right now. It ain't gonna be me. Not gonna happen. Not by a long shot. But if you want to think that, by all means, think that and come to the show. Because regardless of whether or not I'm the special referee, it's gonna be an awesome show. It's almost going to be just as awesome as this thing is. So like I said, you get some pills of berry pizza bread. Okay? You, gotta get the, you don't, you don't want to get the square one, you want to get the round one. Hence folding it in half and it looks like a semicircle. Okay? You need bacon. Grilled. Or chicken cutlet, cheddar cheese. Said, take the chicken cutlet or the grilled chicken. You mix it up in a bowl with bacon, cheddar cheese. Take the pizza bread. It's in a circle, full circle at the time, and you put it in on half of it. Then you fold it in half, sprinkle more bacon on top, and you get this. It's gonna be so good as you're cooking it for a half hour. You may want you you may want another one, but it's gonna be so. God, this is good. It's almost as good as sex. So you young ones watching the video, that don't know what sex is. Forget you haven't even never heard it. Whoa. It's getting a little hot here because I turned the temperature on. But it's not the oven on, whatever. We'll go out. We'll get all the ingredients I told you about. That way you can make your very own Chris Banks. Remember the name Chris Banks. Buffalo Chicken Bacon Loaf. I'm Frankie Love, and this has been episode 72 of Cooking with Love. I'm out. Peace. Watch this. I'm good.